Welcome to the Vox Pathfinder 15R channel, and here's a tip on how to set up your optocoupler for the best tremolo. And here's the infamous optocoupler that goes bad on these Cambridge 15s and, and 30s and the Pathfinder 15 with no reverb. And what we have is we have this replacement, and we have the photoresistor soldered in, but we don't have the two legs soldered in yet, and instead we have an LED. And these two trim pots are very important. This trim pot will control the overall signal because this is in line in your preamp. So if this is down, your, your amplifier is gonna be quiet. And this trim pot is a secondary that releases some of the signal ar around it. So it, there's an interplay here. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with VR7, this guy, all the way counterclockwise, and you wanna start with VR8 all the way counterclockwise. Uh, no, I'm sorry, clockwise. So VR7 counterclockwise, VR8 clockwise. And then what you wanna do is turning it clockwise will bring up the signal in the, amplif in the preamp that goes into the amplifier up higher. So you turn that up a little bit clockwise and then you turn VR8 counterclockwise until we see something flashing. Okay. Now remember, uh, all your controls are set to zero. Tremolo speed is zero. This is tremolo, and tremolo with depth is all the way up. You need nothing else. You need you don't need anything, just power. So what happens to this light as you turn VR7 more clockwise, it's gonna get brighter. That's as most clockwise it goes. Now we can allow more signal to go through it by turning VR8 counterclockwise. Oh, there's VR7. Look how clock. Look at that. But the thing is, when you are adjusting this, you want an interplay. You want it to go bold and then nothing as much as possible. You want it to vanquish. So we're going to turn VR8 back down by going counterclockwise to put remove some of the signal from the optocoupler. And then that's what you're looking for. You're looking bright on the brights and dim on the dim. And you can try a few different positions until you get it right, until you get the best bright and the best dark. And then when you're done, desolder this, solder that back in, take a photograph, you're done. I hope that was helpful.